What do rocks eat? Pomegranates. Get it? Because it's made out of granite. Welcome everybody guys, I'm Ron here, and today guys we are back with another Sky Factory video, and also yes, apparently I still have the googly eyes. So, last time we went ahead and we expanded the island a little bit more, uh, we made ourselves a little cobblestone generator, and over here we made ourselves an infinite water source. Got ourselves a bed, sieve, furnace, and then we got these crucibles up here, and um, yeah, so... That's basically what we did last episode. I went ahead, I mined a little bit off camera, literally just a little bit when we ended up at four, now we have seven. But I, instead of me sitting here like this all video, I wanna make a way where I can, you know, get cobblestone without me having to actually do anything. So that's the first thing that we're gonna do this video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cobblestone and we're gonna take this hammer right here. Up, and we're gonna break this down until we get sand and then we're gonna use this sand and then we're gonna come on over here we're gonna take the sand throw the sand in here we're gonna make this into glass the other thing that we need to do real quick is turn this into gravel into sand then we need to take this dust which actually would this work <gasps> no it doesn't please give it back okay it does <laughs> so what we need to do we need to take these saplings right here, put them into this oak crucible, and then we will have what we need. Because we need one more bucket, considering the last bucket that we had broke on us. So we need a water bucket, and then we will also need a lava bucket as well. So we're going to put all that in there. So I'm just going to sit here until all this stuff gets uh, to where it needs to be. When this turns into water, this turns into lava. So I'm not boring you guys while we just sit here and wait. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so the water's done, so we'll wait for that to finish up getting done. We're gonna take this clay, and just like we did last time, we're gonna take this clay, and I use this crafting table here to turn this into a bucket. Take the unfired bucket and then throw it into here, and then this will turn into a clay bucket like we have right here. Now, now that we have our clay bucket, what we need to do is we need to wait for the rest of Alright, so after all this time, I just now realized, uh, now that we're coming into like the last 100, this whole entire time, I could have just came all the way down here and used this lava, but I didn't. So, we're gonna do that now. Actually, hold on. We are actually a couple of cobblestone short of what we need, so we're gonna put you back down. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm a straight up idiot. Oh my god! How did I, how did I not see that one happening? I <sighs> time to go make myself another bucket. Okay, now that I got another bucket, let's try this again. So we're gonna take this lava clay bucket and we're gonna come into here. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our buckets like this, water and then lava, and we're going to take this piece of glass right here, and we're going to take our six cobblestone that we got, and put it in here like this. This is a cobblestone generator, so it only holds 32 blocks. Oh, hi. Also, we only got one clay bucket back because it's still lava. So, what I'm going to do, since this only holds 32 blocks, as it says right here, I'm going to make it. So we can hold as much as we want. So last episode, we mined a whole bunch of wood from all those trees. So this time, what we're going to do is we are going to make chests like this. Okay. Actually, not like that. Hold on. All right. So I'm going to take these. I'm going to turn these both into chests like that. Now, is there a way that we can make a hopper of... Is it only an iron hopper? I believe it is only an iron hopper okay so what i'm gonna do for right now is actually we are going to put we're gonna put this right here for right now but we will also put you right there for right now as well so what i'm gonna do is because last episode i started receiving some stuff we have four iron ore pieces so what we can do with these iron ore pieces is we can turn this into an iron chunk which gives us one iron ingot so we throw that in there and then it'll turn into an iron ingot so what I need to do is, I need to take this cobblestone that we get from here. Actually, I'm going to make it a 
Actually, I'm going to make a stone hammer now that we have enough and we don't have to worry about it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stone hammer and I'm going to take this 12 cobblestone that we have. And we'll go like this. And then we'll just break all this down into gravel. And then we'll take this gravel, take it into the sieve, and then we will go ahead and get iron or chunks as we do. Uh, actually, yeah, that's copper ore. We don't need copper ore. I'll be back whenever I get done through all this, and then I have enough iron. But basically, this is what we're going to do. We're going to sit here, and we're just going to continue sieving dirt. Alright, so after sieving a whole bunch, we have 13 iron or, or iron pieces. So we're going to take all these and put these into here. So we have actually exactly enough <laughs> iron to make a hopper. We will also need to make a chest as well. So I'm going to actually throw all these up here. So we got everything out of there. We got silver, we got some lead, I some extra iron, copper, nickel gold and aluminum so what we can do is okay we ran we ran out of wood go figure <laughs> okay so now that we have all these we come over here and we can make ourselves a another chest like that there we, we can make ourselves another chest like that there we go and then just do the basic iron or or and just basically do the basic hopper crafting recipe like that so now what we're going to do is we're going to place you here and then we're gonna collect you and then basically just throw you onto here and now all this cobblestone that keeps coming through here will just be coming through here which goes straight into this chest so now this will be our cobblestone chest so now we can have infinite cobblestone well not necessarily infinite because this will fill up at some point but you guys get what I mean so now what we can do is actually I'm gonna take this lava clay bucket over here I'm gonna hold on to this lava clay bucket and we're going to take 46 cobblestone that we've already made so far. And we've already built one of these over here, which is like, we built ourselves a little hot tub. You know, or, well, not really a hot tub, because it's not going to heat up. But we built ourselves a little bit of a pool here. So I was thinking, because I realized this torch gives off heat. So this crucible is only on a one-time smelting radius. So, if we were to take this lava clay bucket, then we can get more uh more of a multiplier for this crucible so what i'm going to do is we're going to come on over here and we're going to build out four this is going to be one two three four and then we'll do that and we're gonna right. and we're gonna so we're probably going to do a little bit more expansion this episode later on all right so now that we have this built what we can do is we can come on over here take this crucible here thank you and we can go and put this down, we'll go here. So that takes away our bucket, but it seems like time. I'm gonna place you there just so we don't have to do that. So now I can place you down here, and it has a rate of 3x. You guys saw it just went up in the middle. So now, whenever I put cobblestone in here, I don't know why it went like that. Instead of it going like that, now it's going up by threes instead of just one. So that means we can get lava even faster. Thank you. The other thing is that I want to do this episode is, as you guys can tell, this is literally our only food source right now, is these apples. I mean, we can always cook silkworms, but I, I kind of don't want to do that, because I don't, you know, we have apples, so there's not really a point to do that. So what I want to do is, I actually want to come over here, and we're going to actually get rid of all this. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to remove all of this stuff here, and we're going to use this as a sort of a farm, but for animals. So we can go and get some friends spawning around here, and it's not just going to be only us anymore. So, I'm going to clean this up, and I'll... I need to make another bucket. Go figure. <sighs> we need iron. Alright, so now that I cleared all this out, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn... And we'll, go, we'll go five of these into planks. So what we're going to do with these planks is now we are going to surround this entire thing like this. 
So this way we can go and put up a fence. So whenever the animals spawn, they don't fall off the edge. Alright, so now that I went ahead and I built so now that I went ahead and built around this, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make ourselves some fences to go ahead and build us around here. So what we're gonna do is you know, you know how to make fences. So what we're gonna do is you know we're just gonna YOLO it. <laughs> YOLO. We're just gonna do that and then we're gonna make these into sticks. I know we're not gonna use this many sticks, but at the same exact time it's better to be safe than sorry. So what I'm gonna do is split these like that. We can make oak boots. I didn't know that. Okay, I didn't. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make about six of these. Yeah, there we go. So now we have 18 around here. Which actually, I don't. This is nowhere near enough. Actually, that's about half. And there we go. So now we're done with this part. Now I kind of want to have something different here. So I want to. I don't want it to just be like, you know, plain where I just put a fence gate here. So we're going to do something, or something like this. I think that, how's that look? Does that, does, does that look okay? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and make a fence gate real quick. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to take this crafting table with me. Thank you. And we're going to put you here. So hopefully you will start spawning mobs here soon. I have it lit up, so that's literally the only spot that I think that they can spawn. <laughs> this one little spot right here. But um, besides that, I think we should be able to get mobs down here. So I'm going to hope that they start spawning. I'm going to come over here for right now. And I'm going to actually grab our... I'm going to actually grab our grass seeds that we have over here. And I'm going to come bring them over here. And we're going to put some there there and there so now all of this i don't think it's yeah it's center okay so now all of this will slowly start turning into grass as long as we don't have any sheep that start spawning look at it it's already spreading yes so as long as we don't have any sheep that spawn here and start eating the grass i'm pretty sure we will be fine all right so now that we did that over here did we get anything in it no we did not <laughs> but look how fast this grass is already spreading though it's it's going good. I like it. Just think, these were the first three, and it's already spreading out all over here. Alright, so we've expanded over here. The other thing I want to do this episode is expand a little bit more. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, we want to make sure this is centered. So we're going to actually move these. Thank you. We're going to take these, and then we're going to expand out this way about 25. Yeah, well... Yeah, because we expanded 25 on that one, we're going to expand 25 blocks out on this one. We're, we're going to be using slabs. It is so, it's just so expensive to use wood. So, slabs it is. Also, I'm probably going to be doing like, the montage like I have been. So, yeah. I'll see you guys when I'm done with the montage. Alright, so we went ahead, I bridged out a little bit, as you guys can tell. So, now the only thing is, I'm thinking, is how I want to build this. Because this is going to be for mobs. And we don't, right, right now we don't have enough for a mob spawner. So what I'm thinking about doing is, coming over here, we're going to collect ourselves a little bit more colors. Oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. I love that though. Alright, so we're going to throw the wood in here, that we aren't currently using. So, for right now... I think... I'm trying to think of how I want to build this. Alright. I think I know how I want to build this. Uh, it, it, it's going to be definitely a lot of trial and error with this one. So what, right, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to build this out like a little bit of a 3x3. Three three. So it'll be like 1, 2, 3. There we go. So it'll be something like th this. But I'm going to expand it out more that way and that way. So once again, another... You know, a little montage of me building, so. Alright, so after thinking it over for right now, uh, for what I wanted to build, I'd have to literally remodel the entire island. <laughs> so, for right now, we're just going to leave this alone for right now. We're just going to keep it kind of like sweet 
short and simple for right now. So this is just going to be like the base floor of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to build this up three or... No, we're going to build this up four... Do we, yeah, we're going to build this up four tall and we're going to put walls around it. And then, yeah. That's what it looks like for right now. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to come back to the time lapse and start working on more of this. And then we'll go and see how it works. <laughs> Alright, so I went ahead, like I just said before, we went ahead and filled up this entire thing with the walls. So, next up is the roof, and hopefully after that, mobs will start spawning in here. Uh, right now, I mean, they can spawn everywhere because I don't have any torches, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we went ahead and we built this room, which because light is still coming through here, we are still going to be getting hit with light. So, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, that sentence makes absolutely no sense, but so much sense at the same at the time. So, these red cone, or these red X's right here are where mobs can spawn, as of right now. These block out the sunlight, so, what I'm going to do is, we're going to place you down, and what we're going to do is we're going to be making a door. I'm not a fan of doors, but doors aren't... Oh, okay. Door, you're supposed to be blocking out the light. You're not doing your job. Um, it's like, I don't want to just, like, place blocks here. Alright, so a door's not going to work. So what I need to do is I need to figure out a way that I can make this into, like, a little bit of a mob farm. So what I might do is something along the lines of... So we have a little bit of room. I'm going to drop down this. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this all in right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this layer here. And I'm going to put slabs. You, you guys will understand in a little bit. Okay, so I have the slabs right now. What I'm going to do is going to take out this layer right here. Oh, that is so nerve-wracking. There we go. Okay, so what we have now is a layer down here. So I'm going to do this here as well. So I'm going to go across this entire line. I'm going to walk up here, actually. I feel a lot more safer being up here than I would down there. I think they'll still be able to attack us. So what we need to do is actually... What we actually need to do is... Because spiders can still actually get through that one little block hole. So that means we are actually going to... There we go. So that means that we're going to actually have to drop this down an entire block. Okay, here comes the most anxious part of this. Is trying to make sure we don't die here. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Up. Oh. Oh, don't drown, don't drown, don't drown. No, let let me. Thank you. <laughs> that is, this right now is probably the most nerve-wracking part about this. Okay, there we go. So now we can sit right here and we can swing at their feet. And now, as you guys can tell, that these are all red X's. So now that these are all red X's, mobs will start spawning. They can also spawn right there, but that that's besides the point, okay? This is, you know... Is all we need. That is like pitch black, except for like right here where our X's are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some torches. I'm just gonna gonna make myself another furnace like that. There we go. So now I'm just going to wait. We put all the wood back there, didn't we? <sighs> we did. Also, how do we just now get the advancement hot topic? We have two of these now. Eh? Whatever. <laughs> all right. So now we got the charcoal. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn all of this charcoal into torches like so. Excuse me, sticks. Get back in my inventory. Thank you. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to take all these sticks right now because it's currently light enough, and the light doesn't get back here because of the slabs. So what we're going to do is, actually, I don't like these there. We're going to put them up here in the corners, like that. There we go. Yeah, that looks better, just because I always hate that you can never put torches there because it's always one side or the other. So now we can sit here. Now the other thing that we need to do is we need to get up here. So all these X's are still spots that mobs can spawn, so what we need to do is we just need to come up here, put these torches down, and that lights up this entire area, like that. There we go. So now these five torches will prevent all mobs from being able to spawn up here. Well, hostile mobs. But now, we can come down here, and for some reason these aren't being red, <laughs> but everything else is. That's kind of all that we need to be red. 
So that will expand. Also, I just now realized we can go make both of these done as well. Oh, look, a mob over here. Not spawning inside the giant cage we just built for him, but on my island. Excuse me, zomboy. Get out of here. Yeah. Got him. Oh, he dropped a loot bag. We got a common loot bag. What do you say? Oh, what could be inside? I have no clue. Let's see. What do we get? We got a cyan banner. Yay. You know what? Yay. <laughs> Ah, uh, man, okay. Let's go check this out. Uh, Aha! I hear something. Oh, there he is! There's the zombie. Can I not hit him? Oh, there we go. I was like, why am I not... Okay. I'm gonna actually remove this so he can see me. Hi! I know you see me, bud. Uh, see, there, there, there he... No, we're not. Hello? Hello? Do I need to come in here and hit you myself? Oh, there you are. Hi. <laughs> also, that would explain why they why this wasn't red before because that block's still there. Okay. Put you back. <laughs> this isn't the type of food source I was expecting to get this episode, but I mean, I guess it's rotten flesh, so it's something. But I'm mean, hey. <laughs> Let's go and check this out. So that, that, yeah, that fixed our problem. Okay. Oh, we got a cow. We got cows and chickens. Let's go. We got three chickens and a cow. What are you? Hold on. You are not a normal chicken. You are a bone white chicken. I, I can definitely tell that you're a bone white chicken. You are literally a bone chicken. I, I like you. We are, I'm, I'm going to keep you. I want to keep you. You can be my friend. I don't have a name tag for you though. Chicken, chicken, cow. I have no seeds to give you guys. <gasps> wait, what if I bred... No, wait, hold on. Okay, creeper, you are supposed to be spawning inside there, not outside there. Oh, you have googly eyes. Nice. I like, it's a nice touch to you, instead of being so scary all the time. Alright, we are taking these, and we are going to start placing these more places then, apparently. Let's see, here, 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 put you in the corner because why not, put you up here, put you along the path, a route, okay, Th this should be enough for right now, this tiny little spot, I'm not too worried about it, but yeah, okay, you know what, this is actually coming together, I'm actually really glad on how well this is coming together, man, okay, well, I think, well, I think for this episode, uh, I'm gonna end it. Oh, wait, no, 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 What? Hold on. Just casually looking at this stuff. Did you just... Is this poop? Yeah, this is definitely chicken manure. Oh, uh, okay. Um, but you do drop bone meal, so that is a good thing. Are you guys... No, you guys are only... Are you guys attracted to... Potato seeds? No. Alright, so right now we don't have anything to breed the chickens, but... They drop chicken manure. I, I don't know what to do with it. Chicken manure block. Mmm, when we get nine of it. Mmm. Yeah, we're. Mm hmm. Okay, just give me a description. Block of chicken manure. Enjoy. Uh, what do I do with you? Uh, drops from nesting pens. Use manure to make fertilized dirt. Manure blocks liquid fertilizer or use it as bone meal for plants. So this is another form of. Bone meal. Okay, uh, nesting pen. How do I make one of you? Planks, egg nest, hay bales. Okay, so we don't have enough stuff for that right now. This is like an entire. You, 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 you pooped again. I know it was you because you just pooped and just walked away and turned around. Oh, great! Now you guys are all going to start making for calling out the chicken. He pooped right in front of me. I don't want to hear it. 
Um, this is just ridiculous. I'm out of here. So anyways, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, uh, leave a like, subscribe, and comment something down below in the comment section below. Last video, we got 17 views with 7 likes. So I'm hoping that maybe this video we can go and get maybe 5 likes. You know, that's all I'm asking for for this video is a whole 5 likes for this video. That lets me know that you guys are still enjoying this series. So without further ado, I'm going to end this episode here. I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.